Hi everyone, it's Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to use RESTful command in AutoCAD. So please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all the videos from Civil Engineering Tutorials. So let's get started. Extrude command is used to convert a two-dimensional close object to 3D solid and subtract command is used to subtract one overlapping 3D solid from another 3D solid. But by using press pull command, you can do both extrude and subtract an object. So first, switch to 3D modeling. Now here, I'll create a rectangle first. Create a rectangle. Now, change the view to southwest isometric view. Now here I'll use press pull command. So select press pull. Now here it's asking select object or select bounded area. So you can select the object means click on the object or select inside the area means select the bounded area. Okay, you can select the object or select the bounded area. So select, make the direction upward or downward as per your requirement. Now specify the height. Here I am taking 10 feet. Enter. Now we have done press pull here. Now I will change this to shaded. Now I will create another rectangle here. Now here I will show you how to extrude and how to subtract by using press pull command. Okay, so create a rectangle. Now I'll copy this. I need to copy this. So press pull means it when you press the object, it will subtract the object, and when you pull the object, it will extrude the object. Okay. So copy this. So here I'll show you both extrude and subtract by using press pull command. So press pull means when you press the object, it will subtract. When you pull the object, it will extrude. Okay. So take press pull command. So select the object. Select the object or bounded area. Select this. Now first, here I will pull the object. You can see here, I am pulling this. That means I will extrude this. You can see, I am pulling this. Okay, I am pulling this uh, this side. That means I will extrude this. I need to extrude this. So, you can see here, I have extruded this. So, again, I will take press pull command. Select this rectangle. Now, this time I will press this. That means I need to subtract this. Okay. Now, I am pressing this to this side. So, that means. I need to subtract this. Now make 3D orbit. You can see both the objects. You can see the di difference. This one I have extruded extra and other I have subtracted. Okay. You can see this. So like this you can extrude and subtract by using press pull command. Okay. When you press the object, it will subtract and when you pull the object, it will extrude. Okay. So, I will show you another example. I will create a circle here. Create a circle. I will create another circle here. Okay, so first I'll subtract this. Okay, so select, I'll pull this. Sorry, I'll press this. So you can see I have subtracted this. My 3D object, 3D orbit, you can see this. Okay, now here I'll pull this. Select, press pull, select the object. Now I will pull this, 
to the to this side that means i need to extrude this okay so you can see the difference okay so like this you can extrude and subtract an object by using press pull command okay you can see both the object okay now create another rectangle what to top view now one more thing while using extrude command you need to select the object to extrude but in press pull command you can select the object or the bounded area so go to top view create a rectangle okay now give a offset give offset make ortho an select the offset distance offset the rectangle now i'll create another circle inside the rectangle that circle create a circle inside the rectangle on the center point this is the center point so create a rectangle okay now i'll copy this copy so i'll create i have created these two objects go to southwest isometric view now i'll do press pull command okay i'll use press pull command so one of ob one object i'll create press pull i'll use press pull command so one object i'll do i'll extrude by press pull command by selecting object and another I select the bounded area. Okay, so while you while using extrude command, you need to select the object. You can't select the bounded area. You need to select the object. Okay, but in press pull command, you can select the object or you can also select the bounded area. But I show you both. So where you can select the bounded area and where you can select the object. Okay. So I'll show you both here. So, so select press pull command. So first I'll select the object. Select the circle first. Make the direction upwards. First by the height, ten feet. Enter. Now again select. press pull select the object so first i'm selecting the object i'm doing press pull by select object select i'm not selecting the bounded area now i'm selecting the object select this select the object make the direction upward now specify height 9 feet enter now this rectangle select the object again Here I'm selecting object. I'm not selecting bounded area. I need to select the object this time. So select the rectangle. Press by make the direction upwards. Press by the height. I suppose seven feet. Enter. So I have created this object. Now again press pull command. Now this time I need to select bounded area. So first I'll select the object of this circle. So make the I ten feet now. Now I need to select the bounded area. Okay, I'll select the bounded area. Select the bounded area. Make the direction of one. Now press the height nine feet. Enter. Now again press pull. Select the bounded area. Here I'm not selecting the object. Select the bounded area. Make the direction of one. Press the seven feet height. Enter. so you can see both the objects looking same okay so one i have created by selecting the object and another i have created by selecting the bounded area both are looking same okay i will show you the difference 
I'll drag this. I'll move this. Move this upward. Okay. Now, move this. Downward. You can see. These two objects are completely solid objects. You can see. These two objects are completely solid objects. Okay. You can see. Now I have used pressful command by selecting object here. Now move this. You can see the difference. So you can see the difference. Okay. You can see both the objects. Both. You can see. So one I have used pressful command by selecting object and another this is selecting object i have created by selecting object and this side i have created by selecting the bounded area okay so you can see the difference so how to understand so go to home page all right So now, create a rectangle. Create a circle here. Create another rectangle here. Okay. Now I'll use press pull command. So. This time I am selecting object. So make the direction upward and click here. Okay. Now this time I am selecting. If you select the object, the object will be extruded like this. Okay. Now take press pull command or if I select the bounded area, it will be the object will be like this. You can see, okay. Now, again, press full command. Again, I select the bounded area. Okay. Now, now you can see I have created this. So I have created the circle. By selecting the object, and I have created others by selecting the bounded area. Okay, you can see the difference. Create a circle here. Now, create a rectangle here. Okay, press full command. Select. Okay. Now, pull this. Now I have extruded this. Okay. Now, select this, and if I press this, so I have subtracted this. So you can see when you press the object, it will subtract the object, and when you pull the object, it will extrude the object. Okay. So hope you understand this. So how to use press pull command? So you can use extrude and subtract command by using press pull. You can do both extrude and subtract by using press pull command. So hope you like this video. Now if you like this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.